In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your survey. First of all, you need to be on the main site toolkit web page and there you see a table of content on the left and you select the web based option. Now actually you this you're still in the main web page. Uh, you see a description of what the web based system exactly is. You click here to go there. And when you're there you see a login screen. You need to have a site toolkit account. If you don't have one you can register a new account. I already logged in and I have my uh, screen open in a new browser tab so I go there uh, so this is what you see after you've logged in now on the left there are all your functions all your available functions and existing surveys and experiments if you have some um, of course I already have a whole bunch what I want to do now is create a new survey so I select create new survey and here in under method one completely new survey I'm going to enter the name of my survey and I'm going to call it depression survey because that is the topic create completely new online survey I click that and then you see now that the among the surveys that I have depression survey is highlighted that's the one that I now can edit here on the right what it does as well is it puts some example questions in the survey code box. I'm going to delete those because I don't need those. Uh, and I'm going to save that. So now I have an empty box without any questions. Uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to enter questions there. But first I'm going to look at the survey intro screen. I'm going to set it up. So for example you have, you, you have a whole bunch of options survey interface language we leave that on English uh, color scheme well let's put it uh, make it blue you need to say something about the survey for your participants so I'm going to do that so um, you can be quite extensive here for this demonstration here I'm just going to say please take part in my study now what uh, is important is that you can format this if you want a new line for example you can put in BR uh, the BR is part of the HTML formatting if you want to know, to know more about how to do that you can actually click the uh, blue question mark that gives you context specific help for example on how to do that formatting now uh, you can even actually have two new lines for example BR BR um, then uh, if you do um, you will receive course credits now that of course would assume that this would be part of a study that you may do in your psychology department I'm just making this up here as a matter of demonstration now you want to enter your contact information so in this case I will enter my contact information I enter my name of course normally you would enter your uh, surname as well and so on again for the demonstration I keep it short um, ethics information that is very important of course you want to make sure that your study has the ethical approval from your institution uh, please confirm that you want to participate in this study this is what the participant will see uh, and also you need to say that this information will be stored on the server and so on what exactly you write here depends on your study and how you've set it up and so on you need to have a survey name in the header that is different from depression study what you have here remember here it's called depression survey that is just for you and for site toolkit the thing the name in the header is actually what the participant sees so let's call it um, a study about depression um, it should be relatively short because it's in the header of the screen uh, you can select not to show a progress report that is useful under certain conditions what would this mean is 
that it just shows to the participant how many questions have already been done. At the end of the survey, uh, you can give a participant a unique code. Let's do that. You would do that, for example, when you want to give course credits to participants who have finished the study. That will be a unique letter code that people cannot create themselves. And the text will be something like, thank you for participating. Now what you can also do is you can add some debriefing information or you can give people some help. For example, if it's a study about depression and you're concerned about the well-being of your participants or that some participants might be affected, you can enter the information here. At the end of your uh, survey, you can have a, a URL or a web link that just is a way of getting the participants away from the survey website so that people feel comfortable. They say, okay, I have finished the study and I know now my data is stored and so on. You can have optional requirements if you embed experiments in your study. If you don't, it doesn't really matter. You don't even need to have a real keyboard for an online study. People might use a tablet or a phone. You can store the participants' internet information and their, the country where they, where they live. For this study, this is not that interesting, so I leave that uh, blank. You can also exclude certain browsers. Again, that only really makes sense if you embed experiments that, for example, might require a keyboard. So we're not going to, uh, to select any of these options as well. And should experiments be completed to continue, again, that is not necessary if you just do a questionnaire study either. Now I'm going to save this information. It's very important that I save this, otherwise I've typed it all for nothing. So now, basically, um, you see there are more options. We're later going to look at it in other videos. But basically, I have set up the starting point of my survey. And in the next video, I'm going to show how to add questions to this.